hey guys happy sunday welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i've missed you guys i haven't posted in forever but i've been very busy i've been adjusting to my new job as you guys know i started a new job uh, back in october i'm um, a few months in and everything is slowly falling into place i've had to make some changes to my routine to my schedule i'm trying to keep up with my routine i'm trying to keep up with my health and fitness goals and i've been doing very good with that so i'm proud of myself i've also started a new thing i put something else on my plate i started um, a nutrition course through precision nutrition so I have that to work on now. So anyway, I've kind of put YouTube on the back burner. I love YouTube, I love making videos, I love editing videos, but it does take up a lot of time. I've kind of prioritized other things, but I've missed you guys. I've been wanting to make a video for the last two weeks and here I am. So hopefully we can get things going again now that I'm in a, a better place. As you guys know, transitions can be very exciting and new, but they can also be very overwhelming and stressful. So I've had to kind of adjust to every everything, all the changes that are going on. So I went to Target yesterday with my daughter and I got a few things. So first up, this is one of my favorite things that I got yesterday. I fell in love. I can't wait to wear it i think it's gonna go great with a lot of my outfits because i do wear a lot of neutral colors but this crossbody bag is adorable as soon as i saw it i put it in my buggy because i just had to get it and it's in the perfect size i go for like more small purses i don't like big bags so this is the perfect size it's adorable so it's like a dark and light tan color. It has gold details. It has a zipper in the front. It also has a zipper inside. And I think it's very spacious. You can also use it as like a makeup bag because you can remove the straps and you can also adjust the straps and I love that. But how cute is this? They also have it in black and cream. I really wanted to get the black one as well. I think I'm going to have to go back and get it. But I got this one because it is in my favorite color. But it's so adorable. I also got a dress. I'm not big into dresses. I have maybe two dresses in my closet. I do like to keep a few in there for parties, vacations. Um, but I'm not a big dress girl. I grabbed this one. And it's super cute. It has like a ruched detail. It cinches everything up, so I do like that. It has a little sticky sticky material. I don't know what you call this, but it keeps everything in place. You can wear it strapless. You can remove the straps. The straps are also adjustable. I love that. I also grabbed a clip. So I wear clips to work every single day. I like switching up my clips. I saw this one and it's adorable. It's a pearly clip. And I think this would be really cute to wear like with a dress, with something more fancy, elegant, if you wanna add a cute accessory. I got these long shorts. I know they're kinda of trendy right now. I got them to wear with some t-shirts to go for more, to go for a more comfortable baggy look, I guess. But these are in a size six. They're the nine inch inseam shorts. I got this tee in a size extra large because I want it to be like I want it to fit oversized. I'm gonna wear this t-shirt with the shorts. I'll maybe tuck it in or make a knot. I'll just make it look cute. I'm not crazy big into t-shirts. Um, I wear a lot of fitted things, but I did want like a, a comfortable look. Um, these are my favorite jeans that I got from Target a few months ago. And I'm in love with these jeans. I wear them very often. So these are the 90s relaxed straight jean in the Wild Fable brand. I have these in a size 6. I wanted to find some more jeans in the same exact brand, same exact style. And I did find some in a darker wash. But I wanted to share these with you guys because these are my favorite jeans. I found them in a dark wash and these are super cute. 
These are the Wild Fable 90s Relaxed Straight Jeans in a size six. How cute are these? These are so flattering. They have a cute slip here. I think it's such a cute detail. These jeans I love. So these are in these are in a size eight from the Universal Thread brand. These are also high rise 90s straight jeans. These are super cute and I'll probably insert like some clips so I can show you guys how they fit because these are so flattering. <laughs> I do my workout I made some egg whites I have some avocado a bagel and then I added some everything bagel to my eggs to add a little bit more flavor so I struggled making boiled eggs for the longest but the trick is to get the water to a boiling point like a good boil put your eggs in there set a timer for eight minutes as soon as that timer goes off Put your eggs in cold, cold water and you get some good boiled eggs. I struggled for the longest, but I've been doing this for the last few weeks and they come out perfect. So that's a quick tip for you guys. All right guys, so I wanted to show you how the jeans and the shorts look, uh, the ones that I got from Target. That way you can kind of get an idea of how they look, how they fit. Okay, so here's the dress. It's definitely something different. I don't have anything like this in my closet, but I think it's super cute, very flowy and comfortable. I also love the length. I hate when the dresses kind of rise up, but I think this one is a perfect length. It's not too, too short. I think it's super cute and I love the ruched detail. I love the color. I think the color is gorgeous. I love this dress and I can't wait to wear it. These are the mid-rise nine inch shorts in a pretty light wash. And I think they're super cute. They fall right above the knee. So here is the outfit. This is gonna be my go-to Sunday outfit. I could have done a size four. I went with a size six. I still have some room, so I like that. I wouldn't say they're very stretchy, but I sized up and I love the way that they fit. I think these are super cute. I love this outfit. I'm gonna wear my sneakers with it. Next up, I have the 90 straight jeans, and these are my favorite pair of jeans. I love these. They are comfortable. They are very flattering and I love the slit on these. They do stretch and I love that. So I could have sized down in these as well. I got a size six. I did try on a size four and they fit perfect, but I wanted to leave some room. So they have this cute little slit on the side. I love these jeans. I do have them in a lighter wash, but I wanted um, the same style, just a different, like a darker wash and I found these and they're perfect. All right, so these are the last pair of jeans. These are in the Universal Thread brand. I love these. I think they're very flattering as well. I got these in a size eight and I believe they're the 90s straight jeans. I'll go ahead and link everything down below. But I love these, these are super cute. All right, so that is everything that I got. So now I'm gonna make some dinner and get my meals ready for work. I only make lunch now. 
I was making or I was meal prepping my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, but I was wasting my breakfast. I was wasting a lot of food. I don't have any time to eat breakfast in the morning, so it doesn't make sense for me to make all these meals and then not eat them. So now I just make lunch and then I come home and I make something quick for dinner or I make sure that I have my protein ready to fix a meal. So I'm making some poblano chicken. I've been making this for the past few weeks um, and I really enjoy it. It's very flavorful, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. After a few days of eating, no matter how flavorful it is, I'm just fed up with the meal prep. By Thursday or Friday, I want something else, but I'm trying to lose some body fat. I have my goals to reach, so I try to be as as consistent as I can with my meal prep. And then I try to have fun on the weekends and switch things up or eat out. But this is what the poblano peppers look like. So I basically put them on medium heat. The side that goes down should get like a brown dark coat. After that happens, I flip it over and wait for the same thing to happen on the other side. So they basically get soft. Once they're very soft, I peel off the skin. So these still have the skin. I don't know if you guys can see, but these still have the skin. So I need to peel the skin off. I'm gonna chop them up and then add them to my chicken, but it's really good. So let's get to work. All right, so here are the poblano peppers. I chopped them up and the goal is to remove as many of the seeds as you can. Obviously, there's still some seeds in here. I'm just trying to get everything uh, done as quick as I can. I'm trying to speed up the process. Here I have some green bell peppers and onions. I'm gonna saute this and then season the chicken. Okay guys, so my chicken is looking delicious. I went ahead and combined everything. So I have green bell pepper, onions, the poblano peppers in here. And I just added a little bit of water and I brought the water to a boil. That way it can get some of the flavors from the green bell pepper and the poblano. But it's pretty much done. I'm just gonna put it in a container I'm gonna have my chicken for dinner tonight, but everything is looking good. Alright guys, so here is dinner. It looks delicious. 